Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be working on this Hello Fall V Split Tumbler. V splits are not typically my favorite thing to work on, but as soon as I got in this decal from a AB lot of these splits Co, are typically done I with knew pattern that vinyl, this had but to be I really AB wanted split, to just focus so that's on that's what we're going with. Making the and decal we're going to be working the start on the show. A so I just took some from removable the vinyl store. and I sized a giant triangle to the size that I wanted it and placed that on the tumbler. You can see I'm struggling just a little bit to make sure it's straight, but once you get that lined up with the top rim, then it will be a perfect straight triangle. So I got that lined up and then I took the decal just to make sure that I had in fact sized it big enough and make sure it would fit good where I wanted it. So then we're gonna go in with painting and I'm using my pop of color paints and some glitter from Diamonds and Dust. And I'm just going to base paint that with a regular old paintbrush and pop of color paint sometimes they need two or three coats so this was just the first coat and then I dried that and went in with a second coat and you'll just see me here just painting those and then drying it with my heat gun and then painting another coat. I really do love these pop of color paints though they're so easy to work with and even if I didn't dry them they do typically dry very quickly anyways, but sometimes I'm just impatient. So that's why I dried it. But you just have to make sure that when you go in with the second coat that the first coat is dry because I have done that before where it's not fully dry. And then it kind of peels up the paint a little bit some or not peels it up, but like kind of moves it around because it's still wet. So just make sure it's good and dry and then go in with your second coat. Once I was all done painting and let it dry completely, I went in with my ColorFlex glitter glue and applied that all over the painted surface. And then we're gonna be going in with my Diamonds and Dust glitter. Today we're using pineapple for the yellow and copycat for the orange. And I just did an ombre the reason with I decided to do yellow right on down the into surface. the orange is because on the decal, the words hello fall are orange down into yellow. So I wanted to do a little bit of a contrast there even though it's not super noticeable it just was a little bit of a contrast to the decal the reason i chose to do glitter glue instead of the epoxy method on this is because i'm going to be removing that removable removable vinyl and we're going to be painting that little triangle white and adding glitter and i didn't want to have to wait for the epoxy to dry before I could move in for that step with this I could remove it right after this step was done and move right into the white glitter so it could all basically dry at the same speed at the same time.
after the white part was all painted and dry, we went in with the same Colorflex glitter glue, applied that all over the white area, and then we're going to go in with our Diamonds and Dust white glitter, and this one is called Abominable, and it is a very pure white. It's very pretty, not a lot of color shift. Actually, I don't think there's really any color shift in there, which is exactly what I wanted, but it still has a nice, beautiful sparkle. So we're going to add that all to the white spot, and then it is going to dry, and then I sprayed it with two coats of clear glossy Rust-Oleum spray paint, and then two coats of epoxy to make sure it's smooth. After that epoxy was dry, I took it outside and just gave it a little bit of yellow and orange splatter right over that white glitter area just to add a little bit of extra dimension in that area and then you're going to see I'm measuring where I want to put the decal and <laughs> I don't know what happened I decided that I was going to well I knew from the beginning that I was going to add this double-sided tape adhesive to this v-split to add foil to so I did that and then the next clip somehow jumps right into me adding the decal I don't know where the footage went of me applying the foil so I'm going to show you here on a piece of paper how I applied it just so you can get the idea of how I did it so basically I took this double-sided tape that I just got from Hobby Lobby there's tons of tape and adhesives available but this is just one that I picked up at Hobby Lobby to give a try and I really liked it they only have a couple of sizes so this was the widest one that I could get so I applied that exactly where I wanted it on my cup and then what I'm gonna do is you you remove the top white layer Actually, I trimmed it all first, trimmed the V-split at the bottom, trimmed the overhang at the top, and then I removed the white part, which is the covering, and then you apply the foil right to it. So pretend this is my cup right here. We're going to just put that on the cup and then trim it off where you want it. And then once you remove the white backing, it leaves that part is sticky so the bottom part is stuck to the cup already and then this part is sticky i just took my foil placed it right over that sticky area rubbed it in with my felt edge squeegee squeegee and then pull it off and it's perfect no hassle with glue and it gives perfect straight lines this is like one of my favorite ways to apply foil when you need it very precise and like a perfect line. So here I just showed you a little bit closer. This side I did the felt side and the regular side of my squeegee just to make sure it's good and stuck on there. And then it's all done. And no having to worry about waiting for the glue to dry or anything like that. So now back to the cup. After I did the foil, I put where I wanted, I put the decal where I wanted it on the cup and went ahead and applied that. You saw me earlier, I trimmed around the edge of the image. You can apply the whole square if you want, but sometimes I like to just trim around the decal. It just helps me place it um, straighter most of the time. So I got that applied and then we're gonna go in with some edging stripes. The reason I wanted to apply that leopard foil, which the foil is from Artistic Painting Studio, I forgot to mention that, but in this decal, you can see there's a little bit of like a leopard look around that triangle. So I really wanted to showcase that, showcase that and really bring in elements from the design of the tumbler and tie them in with that decal. So here I am just going in with the edging striping. We decided to do orange and then yellow on top of that. I originally had like a darker, more of like a marigold yellow on top of it, but then I had to run to Hobby Lobby that morning and I found some glitter vinyl, glitter yellow vinyl on clearance for like $3. So I bought it and it was the perfect shade of yellow. So that worked out perfectly.
after I was done with that striping, which is where I intended to originally stop in my thought process for this design, I decided it still needed something. So in order to kind of tie in the dark tones of that leopard foil stripe and some of the dark tones in the decal, I took a super, super thin black stripe and added that in between the V splits and like kind of worked it in there so that there was three V black lines as well. And then let me tell you, so I was in a hurry because I liked this design. I was excited to get it finished up and share and I didn't seal in my vinyl striping. I usually and normally use polycrylic just all over the top so it kind of helps seal in those vinyl stripes and since I didn't the top edges of a few of my stripes lifted and I was so bummed but it was not a bad fix you can see right here I'm showing you where it lifted so I took my exacto knife and since it kind of pulled up right under where it lifted I just like cut that off and then peeled off the or not peeled off but cut off where the vinyl striping was like lifted and then I put a few more little vinyl stripes over that spot and sealed it and epoxied it and it was fine so you'd never know but my recommendation is always when you're working especially with really thin pieces of vinyl at the edging like that they almost always lift so might as well take that extra step and just seal it before you epoxy. But it was fixable, it's okay. It all ended up turning out great in the end and I absolutely love this. It's very simple, but I love the element that is brought in from the V-stripe to, or from the decal to the V-stripe and ties it all in together. And I love fall and this gives me a lot of also candy corn vibes, which that's okay. It's so cute. I love it. It will be available on my website if you love it as well. And my new favorite way that I hope I taught you something is to use the double-sided tape with foils. It's such a game changer, I'm telling you. Anyways, I hope that you love this tutorial as much as I loved working on this tumbler for you. And as always, all of my information, where to find me, and all of the products that I use will be listed down in the description box. And I will see you next week. Thanks for joining me, y'all. Bye!